Joining me now, owner of Rick's Firearm Academy uh, of Detroit, Rick Ector. Rick, good to see you as always, my friend. Thank you for joining me. Hey, Dana, once again, it's good to see you. Thank you for having me on. Of course. This is one of the reasons why I and so many people are so thankful for Second Amendment rights, because I get it. You know, it, 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 those who those in law enforcement, they can't be everywhere you know, at once. But 60 minutes for a response time, that's that's the longest hour ever for somebody who is in fear for their life and waiting for someone to come and assist them at that point. It's I mean, they're I mean, really responding. I, that's insane. I've never heard anything like that. What do, what do you make of this? Well, it's a, it's a question of resources. Uh, what do we have? What do we need? And what are we prepared and willing to do? Detroit has always had a reputation of being a, a tough town. Uh, resources have always been tight. Uh, we've had recent population decreases. We used to have a million mm -hmm. people, you know, in the city of Detroit. Now we're somewhere under 600,000. Uh, the bean counters, they look at other cities and they look at how many law enforcement officers they have on, on staff and they say, well, hey, Detroit, even though it's a tough town, we have way too many police officers. And next thing you know, wow. we have several, we have a, a deficit of law enforcement and society has not adjusted. It's a very violent, dangerous place to live. And there are people who are still relying on law enforcement to be there. And when you look yeah. at the data that was shared in that report you just spoke about, you consider the number of people who actually had to wait 60 minutes and better for law enforcement to respond. It's insane. No, that is absolutely insane. I think I'd rather wait for law enforcement to respond after I've neutralized a threat to myself than wait taking, you know, playing musical hiding spots in my house trying to get away from an attacker. With this with this news, how has that how have people in the area reacted in terms of realizing, you know what, maybe I should actually check into getting a firearm and maybe taking some classes and getting a concealed carry license? I mean, has that has that sparked that thinking from people uh, in the area who maybe it's something they haven't considered before? Are there more people talking about it? Oh, most definitely. I've been having numerous conversations about taking on a more active role in your personal protection. The thing that is surprising people the most is that we are not aware of how bad crime actually is. We're not aware of the actual response to crime from our law enforcement personnel. For many people, this story that was just published that we just talked about, it is opening up a lot of eyes that it could reasonably, well, shall I say, unreasonably take an hour for law enforcement to get there to respond to an aggravated assault, a rape, an attempt on your life, or some other serious priority one crime. So yes, people are concerned about their safety and they're willing to take on a more active role in it and I applaud them and I want law enforcement to be forced to publish their responses to violent crime on a more uh, on a more frequent basis as opposed to a special report to come from a newspaper reporter. Absolutely. Amen to that. I completely agree. People need to know what's at stake. And, you know, it's easier to, to carry a gun than it is to carry a cop. And, you know, with the average time across the nation being 20 minutes, I mean, obviously, this is absolutely unreasonable. I mean, this that's scary. I hope I hope everybody goes and sees you, Rick. I hope they go and see you. I hope that they go get hooked up with uh, with some training, with some good classes, go out there and get their concealed carry. Uh, I'm, I, I'm glad that they have you as a resource because this is terrifying. I mean, I can't I, I just I can't imagine anybody having to live with the fear that oh my gosh maybe you know if I call 911 they'll show up you know first responders will show up within the next hour that's uh, that's too terrifying Rick Ector God bless you for what you do always appreciate your perspective on these stories Rick thanks hey Dana once again thank you for having me look forward to you talking of to you course. next time